Welcome Hi, everybody. to VCR Party. Uh, we're excited to be back. This is uh, episode 14, and this is the show where we go through... Uh, by the way, I'm Nick. This is Joe yep. from the Found Footage Festival. We do a live touring show where we show off our videos, but um, we're giving you a sneak peek. We're having you come into the process as we watch every video <clears throat> in this uh, office right I now. I think we're 36.3% through everything I, now. Yeah, I don't even think it's that close. I feel like we've just scratched the surface. Yeah. There's so much more to show, and uh, we got a bunch, but I think people are, they've been clamoring yeah. on social media. You know what, I, th I think bunny and surgery, it's days are done. I think people want Joe's Tedium Corner, because they've been without it for like three weeks now. Yeah, and I'm happy for that too, because uh, we've really rung bunny and surgery, the bunny and surgery tape for everything we can, I think. Yeah, it's in your, it's in your I have court it. now. So. I have it, I've been, yeah, I have an update on that too, so. Okay. Um, all right, but now it's time for Joe's Tedium Corner. Roll the graphic. No. Okay. Roll the graphic. There we go. All right. Like the Tedium starts now. Right. First, the first one comes in from the right. Yeah, this was the second one. I would say right again. Nope. Bottom. Uh, uh, nope. This isn't tedious at all. No. Nope. That's where the third one comes from. I'd say right again. Nope. Left. Constant yep. surprises. Yep. And Steve, uh, Steve's our director. Steve, I, I, when I finish Joe's Teeting Corner, I'd like that to play again when we wrap things up. <laughs> so just so you know, because I don't think I don't drag think, it out as much I don't think as last can. time we did that. All right, yep. here's what we got. I bet you've been waiting for this one. Oh right? yeah, it's, a, it's an old friend. Hello, old friend. We actually have two of these. It's a uh, Royal Consumer Business Products Cash Register Training Video. <laughs> I'm surprised I remember, I, didn't. I remember this was like what spurred the tedium. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. surprised I didn't do this on week one. Right. But I kind of panicked because I went looking for it. It doesn't have a spine label. And oh. so it's up on our shelf, and I can't see the spine. So I had to look through all of our user manuals over there and found it. So here's what we're, we're going to watch the Royal Consumer Business Products Cash Register Training we are going to watch, I believe, I want to say it's the Alpha 325CX. Oh, I, was hoping, I was hoping we were going to watch that Although one. it might be the Alpha 587CX. Um, okay. I'll let I'll let uh, Alpha 587CX speak for itself. Okay, here we go. Cash register instructional video. Yep. And we've watched this whole thing before. Buckle so. up. <laughs> Starting off with a bang. 1-888-261-4555, toll free. Or if you prefer, you can visit our website World for information and troubleshooting at www.royal.com. So the letter up in the top right is for which product they're doing. They explained that at the beginning. 
Just so you're not lost. Okay. Here it is. Model Alpha 587 CIA. Place the cash register on a level surface and give the cash drawer room to open. Plug the AC power cord into a power outlet. Remove any external I protective tape. <laughs> Isn't it? Remove the memory with a backup of batteries, paper, backdrop. journal comes with shotgun spindle, shells and too. four sets of register <laughs> keys from the cash register packing material. The key sets consist of one set for the journal compartment and cash drawer. This is perfect technical writing right here. Operation. The technical writing is perfect. They, they don't, wasted don't word. nothing PRG, is screwed up in this entire video. All modes of the control lock, I was hoping that maybe the person's arm that comes in yeah. has like a tattoo on it or something. Right, right. Nothing. And the X and Z management modes. Wait, did you want me to rewind that? No, no, that's okay. okay. I'm good. Unlock and open this part's actually pretty satisfying. Remove yeah, the, the person has nice nails. There's yeah. nothing to... Remove the shipping ring. tape, which secures yeah. the battery compartment. Slide the battery compartment open and insert the four AA memory protection so batteries oh, cool. in the they order shown it. in the compartment. Replace it's the very battery compartment height -like. cover. <laughs> Please note that the ink ribbon has been preloaded at the factory. Next, insert the program key labeled gonna like this PRG part. into the control lock yeah. and turn it to the register one mode. Yeah. Oh, register yeah. one. Okay, here's the load paper. This is actually pretty satisfying. Came Prepare up from the, the bottom. Paper roll for installation <laughs> Just like Tedium did in the <laughs> intro. Uh, actually, corner the was the one that came oh, up from I the see. bottom. Okay. Lower Tedium the roll the right. into the paper roll compartment with the feed Watch coming this. from under the roll and toward the front of the register. Feed the paper into the paper slot and press the paper feed button until approximately cool. six inches of paper is advanced. Have you ever loaded a register? I have. My mom did accounting stuff and had one of those scale. machines, and it was always fun to. Are you just telling me this now? Yeah, yeah. So we had one of those. The not a cat. Not a full cash register. Wow. Machine, you think you know somebody? Yeah. Well, they spring receipts. that one on you. Well, it is. I think appropriate for Joe's tedium corner that I tell you. Corner that I tell you. My mom once had an adding machine. The Alpha 587 can use whoa, two whoa, pipe whoa. paper to produce both customer receipts like, they even and even italicized and. Wow. See your manual for two instructions ply. on threading two-ply paper. You want to keep going? Your Royal yeah, I'm Red good. <laughs> I mean, it's your corner. You tell me. <laughs> well, actually, there was one part that I in your did want to fast manual. forward to one part. Okay. Oh, I know what it was. The... Uh, we're not going to go to Reg 2, are we? No. Well, okay. we're going to go to a program where they program in the uh, tax, the sales tax numbers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pro, do they, they say show program you how tax? to write boobs by doing, you know, turning it upside no. down? No, no, they, don't tell you? no okay. they don't. No. Programming sales tax. Now, I think you like this. Part. All right. It's actually really confusing. I actually watched this entire video today. <laughs> if a mistake is made at any time while programming sales tax, press clear and start over That's with step enough. one. That makes, makes sense. Makes sense. Now. Beginning with now. step one, press one, then press the tax one key. Step two, set the tax rate. This must be set as a four digit number. For example, to set a tax rate of 6%, press six, zero, 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 followed by the amount tendered total key. Listen to this. If the tax rate is a decimal, for example, 6.5%, first press one, then the tax that one key, then no. enter the tax rate as 6500, followed by the amount tendered total key. It's confusing. Programming yes. It's not intuitive. No, it's really. not intuitive yeah. at all. You need the video in order to do yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, roll that last, roll the end graphic here. Uh, another right. good one. Another good one. In the bus. <laughs> Nailed it again. And you know, I, I don't know if it's the best to start off the show with that, like if we have new Those viewers or something, well, you know, I feel like, yeah. yeah. But uh, um, I can't watch the numbers of the people uh, watching the show right now, but I feel like they dip. I feel like they go down. We might want to consider doing Joe's TV Corner at the, <laughs> at end, the end of the shows yeah. when people are already starting to... Well, here's a here's an interesting fact. is when People ask us, like, you're, you must have really fun jobs watching the videos. I always explain that, no, most of what we do is sit through two-hour cash register instructional videos without fast-forwarding. Yeah. And we don't get those two hours back. I would guess that 94% of these videos in here are insanely boring. That's why Joe's Tedium Corner is going to be the longest running thrive. segment on this show. In fact, I think that the show might turn into <laughs> Joe's Tedium Corner, <laughs> and at the beginning we'll have like some good videos. It'll just like, be so imperceptible, nobody will even notice it. Yeah. Um, well, um, we uh, have a few things to announce, and we're going to get into our show and tell. we got some great videos, some Russian videos, that's in the news. We're, uh, it's going to be a good one. 
But we wanted to mention uh, that our sweepstakes is still happening. It's hot. It's red hot. We, we got a dozen sweepstakes letters in yesterday. Our, bring, bring it up our landlord was like, what's this uh, bullshit sweepstakes all about? <laughs> <laughs> and we had to explain that, yeah, we got this this hopper, and I don't think it's even big enough. You know what else he said to me? He goes, he goes I didn't know you could write swear words in the addresses. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't know that either. Well, that's what we found out. And we've got dozens, I think, in this... Uh, uh, Hopper, drum, I think, whatever. I think it our is. I think our hoppers too. I think we're gonna need. I think we need a bigger hopper. Yeah. Yeah. So like, the famous line in Jaws. <laughs> we're gonna need, need, a, need a bigger hopper. hopper. Um, uh, but this is slick as hell, though. This is yeah. gold. I didn't know it was gonna Somebody's be gold. Somebody's gonna win this hopper. Uh, we should explain what the sweepstakes is. It's uh, prizes that you get just for sending us an envelope to the address that's gonna be on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, and because we don't know if it's legal to actually have a sweepstakes, we're calling it a bullshit sweepstakes. Yeah. But the prizes are pretty good. They're, the yeah. prizes are real. Look what we got. And, and we actually added two new ones. To two new ones? One new one. Two new ones. Two new ones. Okay, All right, so two. Here, here, are the, here are the big ones that you'll get. Number one is Computer Beach Party. You want to move a, mm -hmm. a copy of Computer Beach Party. This goes on eBay for $110. That's right. And so that's $110. Uh, you can win all of our Found Footage Festival DVDs, every single one, or you can get digital downloads, whatever you like. Um, let's see. Oh, we a got the Rejuvenique, a face, Rejuvenique facial face toning mask. mask. Yep, yeah, a Rejuvenique face mask. New in box. Yep, all, it comes with the gel and everything. And too. the VHS tape that we've I shown. I don't think the batteries come with it. Um, what else? Oh, so here's the new thing. And the this is oh, the, the this is number four. You win the hopper. Number four is you win the you hopper. You get this drum Although, here. Although that's slick as hell. Like I don't know if I want to. Wasn't that expensive? <laughs> so, so we I can get a new one if we want to. Okay. All right. I think we, we actually will need to get a bigger one for whatever next sweepstakes we have. So yeah, we'll we'll go with the next size up. Okay. You can get this. So one. that's that's the fourth, fourth. prize. Yep. Fifth prize. Look what I found on the shelf. Another copy. <laughs> yeah. The secrets of winning sweepstakes. This so you can win an actual copy. I don't think this goes for $110. No, so. but this is what spurred the whole thing. So it has some sentimental. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did we that. explain all that? No, but we started watching this video called How to Win Sweepstakes, and that gave us the idea just spur of the moment. So, I, think, like, uh, I think a commenter said, hey, yeah. you, should, you guys should have a sweepstakes. <laughs> yeah. We're like, yeah, we'll steal your so idea. We're doing that. Yeah. Um, and well, then the other thing is. More? Oh, well, your, your can koozie here. We just oh, found our yeah. can koozies. We thought we lost them, but we found them. Yeah, now this says you're in good health, and this is based on a video we found about the health benefits of drinking your own urine. Uh, it's in our Volume 8 show. If you're morbidly curious, you can buy that digital download on our store, foundfootagefest.com, or the DVD, and uh, the can koozies. We just found the box, so uh, it keeps... I have a seltzer here. It's keeping it ice cold. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, uh, these that'll, that'll be the sixth prize in the whole thing. Yep. And now that I think about it, like we have all these people's addresses, like we could easily just sell those to like a company. Oh, yeah, that's and, a great way. And that's make some money, money off of... Scheme. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll so, do that, too. We'll look into that, too. Um, all right, so here's the thing. Send those in. By the way, the drawing is July 31st, so we need to get your address oh, yeah, yeah. by then. And we're going to have our friend draw it. Yeah. Yeah, you want to put up the... Our, our pal Jess Dweck, uh, she's a writer. She was a writer on the Tonight Show and a bunch of other stuff, um, and she's going to she's going to draw it. And we wanted to get a female because of the what video. the guy the video the guy talks about how women tend to pull out lavender colored was it lavender pastel I pastel think. pastel yeah. colored uh, envelopes. That's so, one of the and tips. There are a lot of pastel colored envelopes. We're in not going to tell Jess that. No, no, no. we're, we're going to let see. her just. Kind of pick out what she finds attractive. Yep. Oh, also we got uh, found footage shows coming up. We just booked one in Austin, Texas, Dallas. We got one in St. Louis coming up. Next um, week, uh, Thursday, we're doing this show live in uh, Brooklyn at the Alamo Draft House um, on Thursday the 26th. Tickets uh, just went on sale. And then we're trying it out in Philadelphia, too. So yeah, we're going to do the same show at uh, Good Good Comedy. Yeah, it's all on our yeah. website. And then we're at Gen Con. Um, so that's the big uh, board game convention in Indianapolis. But even if you're not going to that, if you're anywhere near Indianapolis, come see the show. It's yeah. the Salute to Nerds, August 3rd. It's going to be a good one. Yep, okay. I wanted to... Uh, I wanted to. Okay, so we got a letter. Mixed into the, all, the, all the sweepstakes stuff, we got a letter from this guy named Roomsy. All right? And we haven't actually discussed this yet. No, we haven't. But we thought we'd save it for the, <laughs> the show. Let me just read some excerpts. So this guy wrote four pages, handwritten, very thoughtful. And I like, receiving letters is great. Yes, it's, it's a lost send us art. Send a letter. Yeah. Um, he says, I've been to, I'm just, he wrote a lot of stuff. I'm just hitting the highlights here. I've been to all the live shows in Chicago, own 
own all released volumes of the show, and even donated to the Legal Defense Fund. Kicks off with Great. that. Love you. Thank you. Uh, I have told many friends that one version of a dream vacation for me would be to be locked in your storage locker for three days with nothing but a remote and an easy chair. Okay? Yeah. All right. He came up with a couple scenarios where he would pay us to come in here, and he would do that for a little while. Right. Great. Uh, he says, I'm a social worker, so I'm not loaded. So I don't think we'd get that much money from right. it. Right, but he, we can gauge that he's probably a good person through he's that. He's a social worker. Yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. And he's a, he's a good writer, and his penmanship is nice, too. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not creeped out at this point. Right. Um, here's, here's the part where he won me over. Joe's Tedium Corner is my favorite segment. Oh, no see. joke. After the episode on which it premiered, I started my Patreon donation thing for the show. <laughs> Love him. All right. Whatever you, so whatever that, you want, Ruben. That was the tipping point. Well... So he, here's what he says. He's, he said he'd want to come in here. He'd maybe want to do a live stream where we can, uh, you know, broadcast it or something. Or he said it wouldn't be like an MST. It wouldn't be a curated thing. It yeah. wouldn't be a joke thing. It would just be him sitting in here being tortured, watching all these things for three days straight. Okay. Um, he said that we could do some sort of like a set up a donation charity kind of thing. Like a like, marathon. Like a marathon or, kind yeah, of a thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said, I would get my plane ticket, I would get myself to your office, buy my own food, etc. cetera. Um, he said, I, I'd honestly, he, he got me with this too, he said, I'd honestly rather watch a Neil Breen movie or Marvel blo over, over a, a Marvel, Marvel blockbuster, blockbuster any day. Okay, yeah. what's so in there? he knows Neil Breen. Yeah, So yeah, um, faithful findings and... Yeah. yeah, so anyway, I think we should do it. I think we should absolutely do it. We're going to be out of town for two weeks. We're going to be in... Um, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. The Fringe like Festival. Like two and a half weeks for, yeah, for that. We're, it's just going to be sitting in here, like collecting dust. Yeah, but we're, there is some valuable, I mean, this is our complete life's work inside this office. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to vet this guy. Yeah. You know, background checks and right, everything. Right, right. But, but, yeah, but then I'd also like to, like, peek in and see how he's doing. Oh, you like know, have like a live stream like going? Have a li okay. live stream. Maybe not on our thing. Yeah, because yeah. Like, But maybe maybe he wants to do his own live stream. That could be that interesting. Could, I think it could it's, be interesting. It's also a bit of a risk because we don't know this person and if he's... I mean, he is a weirdo. I mean, I he guarantee He brought us a four-page. Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but that could be part of the interest, too. It would be nice to have a monitor here, though. I would just... You know, it's kind like of like... Like if he, like, takes us have, for everything? Well, no, but just having a stranger in here is one thing if you're here. But well, having also, a... But his girlfriend also emailed us, too. Yeah, I saw that email. Yeah. And she was like, please make his dream come true. Yeah, I'm so in I mean, love it could with be, him. It it's could, very sweet. Yeah. It's a very sweet story. It could story. be an elaborate ruse to steal our livelihood. It could be. But, I don't know. But but even so, like, there's breakable stuff. I don't know. I think we should just set some limits, but I think we should do it. Yeah, I think we should do it, too. And, yeah. uh, and I think that we should set up the stack of videos that he has to watch, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think you need to ask that he, one. He said well, he had a tell, playlist yeah, on tell, there. Yeah, he said he had a playlist of what he of wanted what to he see. what he wants to see, but... But, but maybe, maybe we can ask them a playlist of what they want oh, yeah, him to watch. Sure. Also, I think that he should watch Royal Consumer Business Products Cash Register <laughs> Training in its entirety. Right. So yeah. we could... Yeah, because I think part of the fun... In us doing our live shows and us doing this shows is subjecting people to some of the stuff that we have to watch because mm -hmm. not all of it's fun and 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 pleasant. So it's it's fun. It's almost sadistic. Yeah. That I, we... And I said I think what he said was that he wanted to he would introduce each one. He'd say this is what I'm going to this is what I'm going to watch mm -hmm. now, and he'd pop it in, and then he would just. I think right. we would just quietly watch. He it's, didn't want it to be like a riff tracks yeah. or an MST thing. It's risky, but I think it'd be worth. I think it'd be the fun risk. for people to peek in to see yeah. what he's watching and. All right. Do doing. you like this idea, or is this a stupid idea to invite a stranger into our? Yeah. Our let office? us know. Let us know. I vote yes. I think that we should do it. Yeah. I just think we should have a monitor. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, the next thing is. Show and tell. Show and tell. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, I'll, uh, I want to start off because yeah. I um, obviously everybody's talking about Russia, and I know that they meddled with our election, and here is a way they meddled with their own children in the late 80s with this children's movie that we've always called Anna Bin Wap. I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> but I don't know what the Cyrillic, <laughs> I don't know what it actually says. But we've never watched this. No. And the cover is incredible. I always assumed it took like a weird VCR that we didn't own. It, and I, I tested it today, and no, it just plays on a regular NTSC really? VCR. Okay. So I thought let's play a little bit of Anna Bin Wap, and we can see all the insidious things that Russia's I can't been wait. up to since the 80s. 
And I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just well, going to play you. Well, did you notice on here that the, the thing has four arms, too? It took me a long time yeah. to realize that, but it actually has four, four arms. Four arms is bear creature. There's a little, like, a witch here, uh, sort of Baba Yaga creature on a broom. And there's either... What's a Baba Yaga? It's a folk, Russian folklore story. Okay. That's, yeah. So, anyway, here's the uh, actual cover. You can see right there, Anna Ben Wap. This is exactly where I put it in. So oh, okay. I, I played this. The tape was <laughs> mid in mid movie. So I, I thought. So this, whoever got rid of it got rid of it at, at this, this moment. Point. Okay. So let's just watch a little bit of the correctly pronounced Anna been whapped. <laughs> yep, that's how Russians pronounce it. Yep. <laughs> uh, All right, here we go. Here's Anna been whapped. <laughs> Good lord. Look at that. This is a children's That's awesome. movie. It's very dark crystal y. Yes, that's really well done. Oh. Kids would be scared shit. Oh, yeah. I was. Oh, that explains a lot about Russia, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> It's horrifying. Yeah. He's not actually saying it. I don't think so. I think this is just his moaning. My sister-in-law speaks Russian. She's Russian. She I would like to. Yeah. I'd like to watch this movie with her. <laughs> I love it. We gotta. We have to have a screening yeah, of this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, there it there's, is. There's the guy. Only two of the hands moved, <laughs> by the way. But. Dracula. Is it like a Wizard of Oz kind of? It has story some or allusions to that. In fact, there is like a Tin Man character in in here. Okay. But yeah, that's Anna Ben Wap. Oh, why did we watch that? I don't that? know. It's it's got it's almost Terry Gilliam, Dark Crystal y. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty. I was impressed. The puppets, the puppets are pretty good. It, yeah, it kind of was like um, almost like a never-ending story or something yeah. like that. So, uh, I w it would be fun to watch this with your sister-in-law to see what they're saying. Yeah. Um, and if she's equally horrified, but intrigued by Anna Ben Wap, <laughs> as the Russians call <laughs> yep. her. Uh, all right, what do I got? Okay, so I got something. Okay, so last week. Um, I played this video here, Bronson, number one Bronson family. Oh yeah. And it kind of stuck in my craw. I was like, I really want to, you know, it, it's kind of a bunion surgery type of tape. Um, it was sent with this letter. Uh, this guy uh, from Chicago, Chicago or Minneapolis, named Dan, said, found this at an estate sale in a camcorder, watched past the Bronson movie, and it turns well, sorry in advance. Yeah, it was I, a Charles Bronson movie, and then you did fast forward past it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... I and did, it was horrifying. It was horrifying, and what it was was a. Uh, I explained it last week. It was right. a, a cat. So a guy set up a camera to watch porno uh, on, on the, the internet. internet with his VHS camcorder, and he hit record and recorded I guess porno to watch it on his TV. Well, he I didn't want to watch it on the. I think it was like right when the internet came out, and it took a long time to download, and he didn't want to have to keep re-downloading it every single I time. See. So he downloaded it. Recorded it on something that he could Good watch theory. it all the time. Yeah, it's just my, yeah, it's just my theory. Um, but anyway, then I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a way to, to show it. I just I went into to uh, the editing program today and uh, blurred out all the porno stuff. Oh, okay. It, so it, this is a way to watch. It took it. forever. <laughs> okay. But I think that yeah. it's I think it's sort of worth it. But what I want to do is I, I want to do this for Volume Nine of Found Footage Festival too. I want to take viewers through the journey of this video because oh, it starts like a guided off, tour. Through Bronson family, okay. number one Bronson family, yeah. because it starts off with a home. I'm going to show you all this. It starts off with a home movie, then it goes into the Charles Bronson movie, and then it goes into the porno watching, and then it's a bunch of infomercials. <laughs> this and is all in one tape. It's all in one tape. Yeah. So it's it's a journey. Okay, let's it's, let's it's much go like through Anna a little bit of, the, yeah. of that journey. Then. All right. So this is um, we're going to start at the beginning of the tape, and then I you know I edited it. Yeah. Excuse me. And so one of our uh, Patreon baker backers had an idea about showing this, so we'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah. yeah. All right, here it is. I saw the tape starts. Listen. Maybe turn around and say something. 
I'm trying to fake knowing anything about cocktails so I can go to New Orleans in the summer. That's how it starts. Wow, so enigmatic. <laughs> She's trying to fake knowing something about yeah, yeah, yeah. cocktails so yeah, yeah, she yeah, can go to New it. Orleans in the summer. I, I love how he lifts up the camera and goes, baby, say something to the camera. <laughs> There's like a sleeping bag and some blinds, and then you see her. And then she had something to say now, to the camera. is that the same computer where he's later watching porn? I, I don't think it's the same guy. Uh, oh, okay. I think it's a different guy. Yeah, the old the guy seemed older. Yeah, the video. other guy seemed older. Okay, so. all right. Um, all right, hold on. Let's do it. Okay, that's part of the journey. Okay, wait, what was her line again? I'm gonna fake, I just wanna hear it one more time. And then, uh, okay, so then, all right. I'm trying to fake knowing anything about cocktails so I can go to New Orleans in the summer. She's trying to fake, fake knowing, knowing anything, anything about, about cocktails so she can go to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if she got there and didn't know anything about cocktails. <laughs> Here's the family. <laughs> And is this the Charles Bronson movie? Well, you tell oh, me. <laughs> I couldn't tell with the limboing child. This is exactly how it cuts, too. So and those then, are my blur. That's my yeah, blur. Yeah, right. Yep. I added that blur. And pretty much the whole screen, then. <laughs> I think you can kind of tell what's going yeah, on Yeah, probably. Yeah. They're pretty, some pretty wide pixels, but you get the idea. Yeah. Okay, then we go to a different screen. <laughs> is that oh, a... Here, here it comes. Wait, wait, listen, you kind of hear his... Wait, wait, He's wait. muttering. Yeah, oh, you, you got to hear his muttering. Okay. He, he mutters throughout the entire thing. <laughs> Took me forever. Oh, yeah, you had to do it while the no. cat... Over there. Over there. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. 37 ratings on that. Uh huh. Pretty high rated video. Yeah, four and a half stars. Yeah. So, wow. there you have it. I, I mean, I think the most amazing thing about that is that the cat listened to him. Yeah. Like it actually did start well, I don't going. Think it did. Cats no. don't listen, yeah, it just but... it just was going to the other side. I think it just so happened that it was. Yeah. Well, but, I'm fascinated by that tape. Well, it really is a journey. But the whole thing is so gross to watch. Like I did, I didn't have to watch the whole thing because yeah. it's like he's making grunting sounds throughout the entire yeah, time. Yeah, you told me you were having trouble with yeah, it. Yeah, I had a lot yeah. of trouble. And then I was like, maybe it'd help if I watch it with some people. I was like, no, that'd make it worse. <laughs> and and yeah, just well, because the grunting sound. I mean. Speaking of watching it with people, we uh, had a, a, one of our Patreon backers um, emailed us t earlier today and was like, I am so fascinated, I want to see that cat footage. And I think we initially were like, hey, what if we let people come to our office and watch it? I think he had a great idea, which is if you're a Patreon backer of us at like five bucks a month, we will give you exclusive access to watch the unedited version of the cat coming into the frame. So we would just give, the, we would upload it somewhere We'd upload and give the a video, password, give, right? Because I don't want to watch it with no, anybody. No, 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 no. <laughs> we would give you a password so you could do it privately and feel gross just like we did. And if you are not a backer, you can go to our Patreon uh, website um, and and donate now and we will do this. We will, yeah. I, I'm making the declaration that we will give Let's you do it, yeah, okay. Yeah. That unedited version and future unedited versions that we can't show on this show for decency reasons. That's a good, yeah. That's, I think that's I a think good that incentive. Be a fun way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll send you the password. We'll upload it to like Vimeo yeah, or something. Yeah, and, and give you the passwords. Um, yeah, so it'll be delivered through the Patreon thing. But I think that's good motivation to uh, absolutely. chip in. You get exclusive access to the dirty stuff. Yep. Or the stuff that... But you know what people could do? They could just play the video on their computer and then set up a camcorder behind it and record the video. That would be video, great. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And then have, and yeah. May have your cat walk in front of that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, well, anyway, those are our ideas. You do what you want, but that's how you donate, um, and uh, we'd appreciate it. Are we it, saying are we saying that now that if you yes, do five dollars a month, you will on see Patreon. the unedited <laughs> porno with the cat walking? Whether in front you of like it. it or not. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna hold you down. That's and make going you in watch your it. inbox, regardless of whether you want it. So change your pledge to less than five bucks a month if you're already a backer. Oh, also, can I just point out one more thing yeah. about this video? Um, Bronson family. So he also has this is number one Bronson family. I put a yellow. Uh, post-it note above this here he put his address on here yeah it seems like if you he must have forgotten that he had the porno part in there or yeah. just i mean if ever there was 
a yeah. video to not put your address right. on it. So that like we right could there. go to that guy's door right now. Yes, exactly. Um, well, I'm sticking with the Russia theme, and uh -huh. obviously, the Russian government is, you know, it's made of criminals and all this stuff. But Russian people are very nice, and Russian American people, we're friends with them. Mm -hmm. We we love these people. My sister-in-law for yeah, out exactly. Loud. And so here's a here's a Russian that, or American that we really love. It's Pavel Goverman. Oh yeah. He doesn't love us, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He is a um, <laughs> Russian man who lives in Oregon, Russian-American uh, immigrant who lives in uh, Oregon, and he came up with his own, he wanted to become a fitness guru, so he invented his own uh, like resistance bands that he calls mm -hmm. Dyna bands, and he has an exercise video. He's got this, we always say this uh, label has more writing on it than a, a bottle of Dr. Bronner's soap because yeah. it's a it's turn a, it over on the other it's side. A ton so of writing. It's really small font. Doesn't really too. make sense. <laughs> small font. And you start to read it, and you're like, Nah, I'm not going to read this. Yeah, yeah. And it's he's uh, he's charming though, and he's a ripped kind of a uh, stocky dude who seems to know what he's doing. But yeah. uh, I cut together kind of a best of of uh, his uh, video series called Get Energized. So we're going to watch a little bit of. Pavel Goberman, get energized. This is an edited version. Though. It is. Not the whole thing. Okay. Not just a clip. Energized, an innovative Russian-American method of physical and mental fitness. Relaxation, self-massage, and exercise. Yeah. Relieve tension, headache, back pain, prevent disease and aging. It's your ticket to good health. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to introduce the developer and founder of a new and exciting fitness Big build up. This United better States, be good. Instructor Pavel Goberman. Good morning. My name is Pavel. Uh, what is more important than being healthy? It costs too much to be sick and old. I'm 60. Excellent health, full of energy. Improved because it. I yep. use my unique physical and mental fitness program called it Get Energized. Do self massage face. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this scene before. Head. <laughs> Lose your fingers. And the set, I love the set. It's got to be his actual studio yeah. apartment. Now rotate hips. I like the tapestry. In one oh. direction. <laughs> Other them. direction. Now do swimming. Deep. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now do skiing. Is he making it up as he goes? Yes. Swimming. I like enjoy play with Dyna bands. When you I like enjoy play with road, Dyna bands. <laughs> you for all your own. Yes. Your <laughs> I like enjoy, enjoy play, play with, with Dyna bands, which are his proprietary. Skiing. We gotta make an I got energized T-shirt. Again, swimming. Tank top, not shirt. <laughs> I like enjoy play with Dyna bands. When you use Love jump em. rope, you shake up your internal organs. You feel more lighter, more energy. It keeps me alive. The jump rope keeps him alive. <laughs> Inhale deeply, lose your muscles. Have a good day. That's the end. <laughs> I love that ending. Exhale, have a good day. It's almost as good as the one kid's opinion. Goodbye, disappear. Oh, it's just so abrupt. Yep. Like, have a good be day. Done. So that's Pavel, and we, uh, we actually wanted to pay him some money to use this cover in our book. Yeah. And we emailed him and said, hey, Pavel, we'll pay you a couple hundred bucks. We just want to use the cover image in our book of VHS covers. And he wrote back and threatened us and was yeah. like, I will sue you and he whatever. He's not happy. He's not happy. He's not so. happy. And it didn't happen. We didn't include but it. But in we book. love Pavel. We love Russian Americans. I, so. wonder if he, uh, I wonder if he has more videos like that. Uh, I should look him up. Yeah, he does have a he has, book. And no, he, he has a website, and he also ran for he, governor he, he or ran, something? He, yeah, he was running for governor of Oregon, I think, at one point. Yeah. So, yeah. He's, He's an ambitious dude. Ambitious guy. That's yeah. Pavel. Um, all right, I'm going to show you this one. So uh, I drove by a Toys R Us the other day, and it was closed. Yeah. Because they all closed down. Yeah. But to actually see, I heard about it on, you know, on the news, but then to actually see him close down was actually kind of sad. So I right. went back over here, and I found uh, a... Toys R Us training video that we had. I remember we uh, had that, yeah. Well, I, I stole this one, actually, from a Toys R Us that I worked at. Right out of college, I lived with my brother in uh, Roseville, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis. Yep. And we lived right next door to a Toys R Us, and they were hiring seasonal help for Christmas time. 
And uh, I mean, this is the best example of white privilege in the world. <laughs> My brother and I decided that we would get jobs at Toys R Us as a joke and try to get fired. Right. And so we did that. We had a lot of time on our hands and like we had day jobs. So we're like, let's have a night job where we just fuck around and just try to get, try to lose our job. So we would show up every day with different things on our mouth. Like I would show up with like uh, ketchup on my mouth. Andy would have uh, chocolate on his mouth. We insisted that everybody called us Kip and Quick Cat. Right. I was Kip and Andy was Quick Cat. One time I dared Andy to take to try to actually take a nap while on the job and he actually <laughs> did. He hid, he hid in the back and took a nap. And then um, they, they didn't fire us. They never fired That's us. That's insane to me. Until they we asked... They needed seasonal help so badly, I think. That's until the like the joke wore off for us. Then we're right. just like, they're like, we want you to work on Christmas Eve. And we're like, we don't want to work on Christmas Eve. And then they're like, well, you're fired. So, <laughs> And then we demanded, once we got fired, we demanded to talk to the regional manager uh, to explain why we got fired. And then we drove, drew up these graphs and explaining why, it was just a big waste of so, everybody's yeah, oh, deliberately time. Deliberately <laughs> wasting people's time, yeah. Well, that's it was what, such a huge waste yeah. of time. But I managed to steal this training video while I worked there, so. Okay, um, I have a story about working at Toys R Us too, and I'll tell okay. it after we watch this. So, okay, actually, and actually this video is so boring. This could be a Joe's Tedium Corner because it's so like by the book, there's nothing you well trying to produced. get a little bonus tedium corner in here? No, 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 okay. no. You, you'll see. Okay. You'll see what I found. I was watching it today, okay. and I was like, boring, boring, boring. Then all of a sudden, aha! Uh -huh. Okay, it's just a, it's just a, a small moment. All right, but I think you'll like let's it. Let's take a look. An open between employees and company management. For example, if you have a concern about something or want to make a suggestion, I hope this is cute normally right you'd first oh, speak to a manager in your store. But if you feel it's necessary, it is. Also <laughs> Popeye. 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 so you can call and discuss your problem. It's a more distracting shirt <laughs> with someone at either your area office. Is she in a Motel Six too? It's the see. That's the difference between the like the royal. Yeah. Uh, you know the 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 that's user why, manual yeah. video and this is that. But, it's another good example of why you can't just get lulled into boredom of a video that's otherwise unredeeming. Exactly. I remember watching that and not thinking there's anything, but that really got me. There's a hip hop wow. Popeye on it. Yeah. So my story was I worked there seasonally too and tried to do a good job. And uh, <laughs> but I was oh, on it a, wasn't a joke job. No, for you? it wasn't. Okay. So I had a little headset and I'd be out on the floor answering questions and I'd, I'd like if people, somebody called and they'd be like, hey, do you have this transformer in? It was over Christmas. And uh, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, and I'd go check the stock. And so a lot of it was dolls, and there was always like the hot Barbie. And they'd say, hey, do you have in Summer Dream Barbie? And I'd look at the stock, and I'd be like, yeah. And they'd be like, what, um, what color skin is, uh, is it? <laughs> and so we're in Wisconsin in like a very white part of town, so the white ones flew off the shelves, and we would normally be left with the African-American oh, Barbies. Oh, boy. And, they'd be, and I'd be like, yeah, well, we, I felt dumb answering it, but I'm like, yeah, we, there's like... You know, one Caucasian Barbie and about three oh. African American Barbies. They'd be like, "Oh, okay. Could you hold the white one for me?" <laughs> and I felt terrible, so God. I should have tried to get fired. But instead, I was answering questions about the race of a of a doll. Oh, now I don't feel so bad yeah, wasting everybody's exactly. time. Yeah. Actually, um, all right. I have what, one more to show you, and okay. this is my pitch to replace bunion surgery. Okay, it's growing pains. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now this. Cover, this is the reason we bought this. Normally we don't buy like stuff that's taped off TV. That's not our intention, not what we focus on. But look, somebody took the time to decorate this with stickers and hearts. It was probably some, I would say, teenage girl or maybe a boy who really liked drawing paints. That was their mm -hmm. demo. And so um, I watched it today. I popped it in for the first time. And it is growing pains. Uh, I think it's from 1995 based on at the beginning they had a label. So I think even at this point, it was in syndication. They're taping it off of UPN. And so predictably... What the, year you think? Like early 90s? 95. 95. Um, and, uh, but predictably, the commercials for daytime TV are what they are now. Personal injury attorneys, whatever. Oh, okay. So I thought it'd be fun to show the last segment of, you know, just the tail end of the Growing Pains into the commercial break and then the credits of oh, sure. that Growing Pains episode where it shows you images from the Growing Pains episode. Okay. So again... How, how did you know it's from 95? What, at uh, the very beginning you... of the tape, it has like a label that says like 1995 EP mode. Oh, okay. So, okay. yeah. So here's the very flowery, hand-decorated... And it's EP mode pains. too, huh? EP. There's a lot on here. It's all Growing Pains? Yeah. Well, I, did, I, I only watched a little bit, so we'll see. Let's sneak into the movies. A blow up Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. This is a test. KCOP is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast system. Oh. This is only a test. Surprise for you. Snuck in a little tedium corner of my own here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. Steve, let's play the graphic after this. <laughs> and uh, so I do like that you'd hear... Uh, Everybody's muting right yeah, now. Everybody's yeah. hitting mute right now. I do like, though, that you would hear that joke about, like, I want to blow up Long Island, but Jeremy made, and then... Is that his name? Jeremy? The what? The, oh, the, yeah, the yeah, growing yeah, pains, yeah. and then if there had been an actual emergency. Cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed I like the graphic the that they chose. Yeah, it's cool. Kind of a if stone. If this had been an actual emergency, such as an earthquake, the attention center and now back to growing pains, <laughs> already in progress. News, information or instructions. Uh, KCOP uh, serves the Los Angeles area. Oh, this oh there we this go. This concludes test of the emergency That's broadcast answers, yeah. system. I was a passenger when the other car hit his broadside. I knew I had rights. 1-800-THE-LAW-2. I felt pain. What's the helicopter so mean? So many things to take care of. The attorneys of the legal rights. That's the law helicopter. Oh, Spokesperson for the legal rights. What, what is he doing up there? Monetary compensation for thousands of injured. Why is he in the helicopter? We'll fly the chopper in direction. Five minutes to call, and there's no charge. They're just showing the off. Case is one. The legal rights defenders are open 24 hours. Is he showing off that he has a helicopter? Must be. After a car accident, call 1-800-THE-LAW-2 for the results. Phone results. turned into a gavel. Do you oh, ever wonder oh. what the future holds? What card has fate dealt to you? Will you enjoy success? Will Mike Fame? Seaver live above the garage? Is there health and happiness in your fortune? Only three ninety seven a minute. To the world's greatest psychic, <laughs> it's only four bucks a minute. That's true. Yeah. Only three ninety seven per minute. Adults only. And discover your true path to destiny. Do you got any tickets or accidents now? Do you got insurance now? Do you got a valid license? Are you yes. over 25? Do you drive a sports car? Do you smoke? Do you drink? Do you drive to work? Do you stop at red? Do you go at green? Do you buckle up? Do you need liability? Do you need full coverage? Do you need uninsured motorists? Is your mother-in-law a hag? For local Is your mother-in-law a hag? Insurance, call the professionals at NSTAR Insurance Agency. Call 1-800-597-6660. That's 1-800-597-6660. For a free quote, call now. 1-800-597-6660. Well, I just want to show you... Then we oh, go back to this. So my idea is to go through these, see the commercial breaks, and then see the scenes at the end of whatever Growing Pains episodes. Oh, I see. Okay. So you get the commercial engine, break yes. and then into the... On the Jenny Jones oh, Show, like today at 11. Jenny Jones first, promo. Mothers and daughters call a truce to their endless bickering on The Ricky Lake Show. Next on <laughs> you for Endless bickering. With the Ricky uh -huh. Lake Show. So that's my pitch, is, yeah. is once we run out of growing pain stuff, and, and we might still have a little bit more life in, in, I mean, sorry, bunion surgery, we go to growing pains and just see what else is on this table. Well, that was maybe, the tip you of know the what, I'm going to throw this out. Maybe this can be your thing. Okay. Maybe this can be Nick's sure, growing, growing pains pain corner. Sure, growing pain segment. Yeah, I could, I, could draw, I, could, I could work you up a graphic If you could uh, whip something week. up for me, I'd Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely. I'd be yeah. happy to whip you up a graphic yeah, this week. Yeah, thank you. Uh, all right, last one of show and tell. Uh, I'm going to show you the, oh, no, no, no. Where is it? How are we doing on time, Steve? Uh, I think that's everything. For 40 minutes? 43. Should we do our little show and tell? That's quick. Our, our slideshow? Yeah, slideshow. I feel I mean. like I had one more to show. Did I not? I don't think so. Uh. We uh, decided... Oh, no, I did. I do. Oh. I do have one more to oh, okay. show. Okay, let's yes, do that, yes, and, yes, then yes. We'll, uh, and then okay. we'll do So, our final I was cleaning thing. off the shelves uh, yesterday, and <laughs> oh, yes. I found this box here, and it had an Arcade system in it. All right, and I remember we were doing a show in Chicago, and somebody gave us this Arcade system because we had actually shown this video before in a right. previous one, the Arcade had the video. system of Steam. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you a clip from it. It's a, it's a, it's a video. Did you clear the clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's a video to help men get erections with this device that pumps up your wiener. Right. Pre-bag pre or this was kind of what you had to do, I guess. Yep. So, yeah. yep. Um, so... I can't remember which clip I pulled. I hope, yeah, okay. I think it's a good one. All right. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm an Osmond certified representative, and we at Osmond Medical Systems are pleased that you and your physician have chosen Osmond's Erecade System Esteem, pioneered by Gettings Osmond. Today, the Erecade <laughs> System has a 95% proven <laughs> success rate. Ooh, getting us. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Erecade System Esteem to bring the sexual intimacy back into your relationship. 
As an Eregate really? system owner, you have round-the-clock access to Osmond Medical System's team of certified technical advisors. <laughs> I'd love it if he was you wearing a Popeye hip hop shirt. Whenever you have a question about your system, all you need to do to take advantage of this and many other valuable services oh, is see. to register your system. I understand your question. Mm -hmm. Also, by registering, oh, that's you can great. speak with Thanks for answering my question you. about the You can't get bonus, huh? assemble your system. So before we begin, take a moment to fill out the registration card that comes with the Arecaid system. Okay, so okay, so this is the Arecaid system. And okay, I look let's at see, because I didn't it, even open this. It thing. is in mint condition. Really, it never been used. It was. Wow, it's here's the total, video. Yeah, there's the video. It's totally mint condition here. Look at this thing. It's never been used. Pristine. Oh yeah. Still, still nuts, got the rubber bands everything. all in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I popped it out the other day, and I was I was playing around with it, and uh, the rubber bands are actually they're like cock rings for your, but they're like okay rubber right. band yeah, cock that, rings that, that seal in the vacuum yeah. pressure that you use to. Well, what you're supposed to do here? Let me just set it up. You're supposed oh, to <laughs> hook this up to this. Comes oh, with that's a, the vacuum. Comes thing? with a monster. All right. So you've clearly done your homework on this. Yeah. Well, I actually looked in the user manual and I watched the entire video today. Okay. So uh, then you hook this up to here, I okay. believe. And then are there batteries in it? Oh, it's put, a hand put your pump. hand put your hand up there. All right. And then you go like, are you feeling it? Not yet. Oh wait, wait. There. Oh. You feeling it now? Oh yeah, it's sucking in my inside yeah. of my hand. Yeah. Okay. So you're supposed to put your wiener in there. <laughs> okay. So, so it put, blows it up. You're supposed to put lube all around here. Oh, okay. And then if you can't get an erection, you you pump it up. And I guess that works. I, I guess, guess so. It pulls blood. I would Would it be temporary? I would think. Well, that's why they have the the cock rings. The uh, Oh, so it the rubber, seals all the Yeah. All right. They have the rubber cock rings at okay. the end here, and then you snap it off once it gets And hard. if you have any questions, you call that customer service representative at yeah. the other end of the telephone. Yeah. And I, was think, I was thinking that we could have um, so we could have Steve, our director, try it out but like behind. What do you think, Steve? you want to try it? <laughs> so we'll just direct the show ourselves. He's, and... just, he's just looking down. He's just looking <laughs> straight down. Um, but maybe do a we, future we, episode we'll try maybe, it out. Maybe Patreon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta well, donate at the five dollar a month level, but then you get live video of Steve, our director, trying out the Arecade system <laughs> steam, and uh, calling the guy, just kind of have him walk through it. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh, also, um, you know what? Another thing that we should ask people is hook us up with because uh, last time, what did we show? Oh, the uh, the the Running Wild T-shirt. Yes. Remember we showed that in and a video. And then somebody sent us somebody a shirt. Us, yeah. Somebody send us please a hip hop Popeye sweatshirt. Please somebody. <laughs> I would love that. Oh. If you could find that cross colors Popeye or whatever that was. We'll give you whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. I mean, we'll give you all the prizes in the sweet Yeah. There are, you you can yeah. have the bigger hopper. I yeah. mean, I'm I'm even willing to do that. We'll get a bigger one. You can have that one too. Um, all right, let's We're, do the slideshow. Let's get out of here. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we a couple of weeks ago we did. Um, Joe sent a thing. You know, we put in notes for what we're going to talk about in the show, and he said, "Let's do giant women, tiny men." And in my head, I'm like, "Okay." So I was in the office by myself, and I'm like, "I don't know. Mickey Rooney's pretty tiny." Well, Let me... I, what I was talking about were your movies. <laughs> yes. Because Nick collects movies that feature uh, tiny men on well, we, on we, enormous we bikini women. Two weeks yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see that one. But I didn't know that in the the, the text or the, the thing. So I'm here pulling videos of, of small men with and then videos of giant women separately. <laughs> and it turns out we have lots we of have videos lots of both. Of those. <laughs> so we're doing another one. This this particular um, slideshow is called Tiny Man, Giant Woman. So All right, you start with the tiny I'll man. I'll start off with Mickey Rooney, Tiny Man. Mickey Rooney no. on acting. And we've played a little bit of this uh, video where he kind of goes nuts. Yep. Here's a lar here's a enormous woman. Well, she's not enormous, but she's a larger woman. Uh, this is the larger woman's workout. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one is tiny man Gary Coleman. Mm -hmm. uh, for safety's sake. <laughs> Although ironically, he's enormous here, and these two children are are tiny. Whoa! It's like the so, Twilight Zone. Yeah, it is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's women at large breakout. All right. Oh. Giant women. Oh, there, giant women. All right, this one, you might not at first glance get this. It's learn to play keyboard on VCR, but look who hosts it, Larry Little. Yep. The littlest Larry. He's the littlest Larry, <laughs> and we watched the video, and he's, I think he's more of a medium-sized he's he's medium Larry. Yeah. Uh, here, here's the other women at large. It's the same video, but with a different cover. More women at large. And here's my last tiny man. Well, you have 
<laughs> you push too far. I, this one gets me every time. You have this man, and then there's a tiny floating ninja up there, not <laughs> resting on anything. He's it's just a, kind of hovering a, up there. Yeah, the tiny man. And there's the orange cop yep. that's looking at the him. The orange cop, and I also like the back here where this, they use this still, which I thought was pretty funny, where a guy's going, huh? That's kind of the still they went with. Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just kept, they're like, he's squinting. This will sell the movie. The guy's huh? squinting. What is that? So uh, here's our last giant woman, and she's an actual giant. Meet a real giantess. How tall is she? Seven foot. Uh, she was the world's tallest seven woman. Seven foot seven and a quarter inches tall. Yep. Sandy Allen, the world's tallest woman. It's okay to be different. We haven't actually watched this video, but I really want to watch it. Yeah. Let me flip it over, and uh, she's kissing a monkey. <laughs> well, yeah, an orangutan kiss yeah. at the end there. Yep. So what's so, not to like? Meet a real giantess. So that's the other version. That was an accidental slideshow <laughs> right there. That slideshow. Uh, how did that happen? I don't know, but uh, we look forward to more. Thank you for backing us on Patreon. Thanks for watching. Yep. Uh, one more week, a week and a half to do our sweepstakes, so join that. Yeah, keep sending the, the stuff in, uh, the, the letters uh, with your address in there, and... Um, we'll see you next week. And we're, no, I'm going to leave you oh. with another Russian video here. Oh, this okay. Is a, a, somebody sent us this. It says just says Russian music videos. And uh, football season's around the corner, right? They're going to be reporting to training camp pretty soon, yeah, right? Yeah, September, yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to leave you with this, uh, Russian music videos featuring football. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs>